G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Enshrouded. We're still in Wistful Fields, obviously doing our build, and we're going to continue a little bit more today with the home for the farmer and the hunter. I think that today is the day that we are going to eventually get the hunter. Uh, sorry, not the hunter. I reckon maybe the farmer will actually come in and live here first. So, uh, yeah. Um, let's actually get started, though, by continuing what we were doing in the attic. And uh, I sort of had a little bit of trouble towards the end of the previous episode trying to figure out what was going on. And uh, I think I've sort of understood what the problem is. So, uh, yes, we are still going to be using the roof blocks, the tarred shingle roof. Uh, but I'm actually going to use a slightly different piece for the last couple of layers of blocks. So what I'm going to do is actually get rid of what we currently have here and then we'll replace it with, uh, well, hopefully a block that looks pretty similar and I would say that maybe the most similar thing uh, to the tarred shingle roof block walls would be the refined wood. So we'll switch things up and uh, you'll understand why we need to do that in a second because as you can see if we put these blocks here, the very top of these blocks uh, have this particular pattern to it, right? So, um, and that's not exactly what we want. So if I keep going up like that, you know, no matter how high, uh, it'll always have the sort of roof aesthetic on the very, very top. And um, to avoid that, we are essentially going to add the... Um, the refined wood instead. And the refined wood will sort of blend in nicely with what we've got going on here. And uh, enable us to have like the right surface to then start putting down um, window like panes and stuff. Uh, well, I guess, uh, what are they called? They're, they're actually just called like window I don't even know what they're called. Window dividers? Anyway, the, the stuff that we craft from Cade. And I guess we can craft our own as well. But anyway, let's switch to uh, the actual wall blocks now. Uh, and I should be able to use uh, these sort of beam um, prefabs. And I'll just layer a couple of them on top of each other. So that's what we're going for. Let's get these in. Right there, and I think I may have missed one spot there, so let me just get rid of that. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, back again. There we go. Um, actually, I feel like this might be a little bit too high. Maybe we do want to make the window area a little bit bigger, so uh, maybe I'll, I'll leave it like that. Okay, very good. Now... If I just return to the roof blocks, we'll just put these things back in. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna sort of leave a triangle shape there. And now that this is done, we should be able to start placing in the windows there. So uh, let me actually grab them. Now, I have already done some testing, so I do actually have some available to me already. So, as you can see, I've actually made like 12 of them. So, hopefully this is going to be enough. Um, if not, we can always play around with maybe adding a few more blocks to save us from having to make more of these windows. We'll see how we go. But, uh, yeah, the idea is we do want to just place all of these down uh, as much as we can. 
So let's get to that. Perfect. Yeah, um, so exactly 12 was needed. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if they're all sort of facing the, the right way. But yeah, I can't really get out easily now, so I'm going to have to actually walk my way outside and use the door like a normal person. And uh, we'll actually take a look at this thing from the outside. And yeah, I think that is looking quite nice, so we'll get quite a lot of sunlight into the attic. The attic won't be so dark all the time, except obviously at night where we've only got the the one candle in there. So that's the idea anyway. Um, hopefully you guys like what I've done there. Uh, but I do also want to address the two uh, little windows that we've got to the sides and yeah, I think I've mentioned in maybe the previous episode or the one before that uh, that I wasn't really satisfied with the look of uh, refined wood, uh, particularly on these like edges because they look really, really rough. So the idea is I'm probably going to replace some of that using uh, once more the roof blocks. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll, I'll actually create a little bit of an opening here, so I feel like it might be easier to work on this from the inside of structure. So, um, but yeah, if we replace all of that, and I'm thinking maybe we replace the entire section here, and we can still create a window, although it will be a slightly different shape. So let me just see here, we've got two blocks, yeah, two blocks there. I think we can maybe get rid of a little bit more. And we'll start putting these pieces down like so. Okay, that's the idea there, but I think um, I might actually remove the roof blocks down here and actually go back to the refined wood. Because I'm not entirely sure I'm actually getting the shape that I want. Yeah, okay, that's much better. And I'm thinking of sort of repeat, uh, repeating the same shape on the other side. Let's just see if we can make it a little bit smaller. I don't know if that's... Yeah, okay, there we go. That, that's actually pretty decent. So I'll just quickly show you guys what this looks like from the outside as well. And um, because we're mixing the materials, uh, we may actually get a, an interesting effect on the outside as well, so gives the home a little bit more of a interesting aesthetic to it. Yeah, we do still have that rough sort of wood sticking out, which I don't know really if I am a big fan, but that's essentially what it's going to look like. And yeah, I think we should maybe repeat the, the same thing on the other side and see what we can do on that front. Huh. 
Okay, I think we've managed to replicate it, but I should actually take a look at this thing from the outside. Just make sure that they're definitely identical. Yeah, looking good. Uh, now it's just a matter of putting those windows in. I don't actually have any windows this time around though, so uh, I'm gonna actually have to um, make some more. I think I may have missed one spot here. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Right. Well, we may as well finish off what we were doing there by actually adding the windows in. So, let's head home and let's make a couple of them. And we'll um, then move on to other things. Uh, I suppose maybe I should add them from inside. Oop. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. A little bit of a stutter. Which... I don't think we've really had too much stuttering in this entire playthrough, so... Very... Unusual. Okay, I think that looks quite nice, uh, but... Having said that, we could add a little bit more, uh, just for aesthetic purposes. So, if I continue adding more of these roof pieces, we can achieve sort of small, like, what looks to be supporting style pillars, um, if I can actually get them in the right spot. Okay, that looks pretty good. I sort of want to do something similar on this side, but, um, I'm not entirely sure how it would go, considering we're sort of right next to the staircase here. I think we do actually have a little bit of a uh, missing section here. I, I think there needs to be... yeah. Just a... Uh, tiny bit extra there when it comes to the half timber block uh, flooring. All right. Yeah, I reckon that looks quite nice. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if there's anything else that I can do on this side. But perhaps maybe that's uh, more finer details around, you know, whether or not I wanted to create, like, bespoke storage or whatever it's going to be. Um, and I think generally attics are also used for storing stuff. So I could craft things like barrels and actual, you know... Um, storage chests and, um, and crates. But anyway, moving on. Um, so one other thing that I wanted to do is actually play around with the aesthetic of the bathroom. And, um, I've taken the liberty of actually moving the lighting. The lighting was, uh, originally right in the center here. Um, I might add one more candle in here, potentially, but Maybe that's going a little bit overkill, but what I'm thinking of doing, guys, is to actually combine the shower and the bath to become a 
shower over bath. Uh, and I have already experimented a little bit with how this is going to work. Um, it's a bit tricky because if you only just put the bath on top of the shower area, uh, you see these sort of, um, these, uh, they, they sort of look like beams, but they're on the floor, um, that sort of hold the bath up. Uh, they sort of, um, protrude a little bit, which is not really what we want. So I sort of need to use something else to sort of clip uh, against it to make it look like it's um, supported well. Uh, and yeah, the idea is I'm actually going to, um, I guess, do some trickery here to actually get the look that I want. Uh, first things first though, I do want to make sure that the shower over bath is actually set up in this corner. That way we've got a little bit of free space right here, perhaps maybe for a piece of furniture that might hold even more decorative items. But uh, first things first though, is I do want to make a, a hole there. Now this unfortunately is going to mean that, you know, there is a, a hole in the ceiling from below here. Um, but we can correct that a little bit later. So what we want to do is then sort of, um, Actually, that's probably not the right piece here, but let me put something else in there. Let's say we go with something that's kind of easy to work with. Yeah, let's just go with the city wall blocks. So if I put a couple of pieces, so one on that side and then the other one just to sort of sit right underneath that hole. What we can now do is use a table. So let me just quickly fetch one. We should have like a side table or something like that. Yeah, here. So we'll get the wooden side table. And um, I'm going to actually put that into this hole. Uh, might help if I just quickly close that. But if I get it sort of going underneath that hole slightly, uh, what we'll be able to achieve is a sort of a look that um, sort of implies that, you know, uh, the, the very base of this thing is made from wood. Uh, and once we've done that, what we can then do is add our shower and uh, the table also gives us, uh, I guess, acts as um, a good guide to sort of try and get things centered. There's something along those lines. Maybe we can do a little bit better. Yeah, okay. That's not bad. And now we should be able to get that bath in and it should look a little bit better than just um, sitting on top of the shower. Um, but yeah, it, it can be a little bit tricky here because you do want to, you, you still want the bath to be sitting on top of the shower technically. Just need to make sure that there is enough free space to to do what we want to do. And you don't want the clipping to be too bad. That um that could work. But it is still Clipping a little bit. Yeah, that's not a bad look. Uh, but we do need to clean up the hole that we've got underneath it. 
And obviously there's a little bit of a a pattern here below the uh, the bath, which I do want to fix as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Now I know there is still a hole there. But we can fix that. And to do that, I would say... Uh, using single blocks is probably not the right idea. I'll show you why. Um, as soon as you try to, to do that here, you essentially can't because the table is in the way. So instead, uh, what we can do is use one of the prefab pieces. As long as you've got it sort of overlapping that area, I think maybe it might be a little bit easier from the top. Yeah, so if we just make sure that it goes down one, we're using one block there, and yeah, that should have fixed it now, so... Now, if you come back to it, you shouldn't see that pattern anymore. Plus, you've got a nice uh, shower over bath situation here. So, um, yeah. I'm pretty happy with that, and uh, look, I didn't really get any inspiration or anything like that for this particular idea. I don't know if anyone else has done it, but... Uh, if they have, then you guys can let me know. <laughs> Otherwise, I could. It, this could be a first, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Um, anyway, uh, bathroom is looking really nice, and uh, I think before we move the farmer in, I do want to work on the corridors of the uh, the home. So, and by corridors, I mean I, I sort of want to add a few more walls, particularly where the staircase has been set up. So, um, I feel like this might be a little bit tricky to do, um, because of the way we have set things up, but we'll make it work. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, so... Yeah, I just want to make sure that we're not sort of... Um making the space too small as a result of, you know, putting these pieces in. Um, so something like that seems good. I, I do like the idea of being able to see the, the wood pattern there from this side. Um, that's probably not the right wall, though. Should we be going with the... Fancy walls. I suppose we should be continuing whatever walls we are currently using on this floor. So something like that. Although these fancy walls do also give you these patterns on the side. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about having that. Um... We're just going to play around to see if we can actually get rid of these patterns. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about the look. <laughs> um, seems a little bit... ...all over the place. Probably how it should be. Hmm. Because originally I do also like having the nice sort of stone aesthetic on the side of the the staircase, although perhaps maybe that's the problem. Um, maybe if I'm not 
so adamant on the stone blocks. I wonder, I wonder if perhaps If we change it to the fancy blocks instead on the end, I want to see how that looks. Hmm. It almost feels like I would need, like, this section covered as well, but that means we won't be able to see that bit there, but... Again. I'm not married to the idea, so maybe we can do that. Let's see. Not too bad, though I feel like it's probably an important thing for us to also wall this section off, so maybe I'll just bring out one of these pieces. Oh, I actually need more fancy stone blocks, so uh, let's actually go back home and I'm going to see if we can actually make some more. Fancy stone blocks. Okay, right. We actually need limestone for that. I'm not sure if we actually have some limestone sitting around anywhere, but I'm fairly certain we don't because I did actually have to to actually source some limestone for the build. So I might need to actually work on that. That's okay. We can work on other parts of this build and I can sort of come back to getting limestone and actually making some more fancy blocks or fancy wall blocks later. Um, if we do end up walling this, what might end up happening is um, we might add the um, the rough stone back in. Right in the corners. So I think it is still quite a nice look. But anyway, um, let's not dwell on that too much. Because from here we can also move along to adding something very similar for this section. Okay, that's not looking too bad. Might have to finesse a little bit more with what's going on up here. I don't think it's going to be too hard though. Yeah, we do have a little bit of a gap here. I'm not entirely sure what to do here because we still have the stone aesthetic. Um, I wonder if I even need to do anything there. If anything, I might need to do something about this section. Yeah, I don't really know if I can keep the stone aesthetic going.
All right, I'm not entirely sure if having wood is the right look here, or if I should be perhaps using the half timbered blocks instead. I mean, I would like to use the half timbered uh, timbered blocks, but I don't know if it makes sense to. It does give us a nice sort of effect though, as if all of these sections are actually being supported by timber. So maybe it's not such a bad thing. Alright, pretty satisfied with that actually. Um, what I probably need to work out though is how I'm going to still incorporate the rough stone on the sides. I um, suppose maybe it could just simply be getting rid of some of these pieces and replacing them. Right though. Yeah, maybe it doesn't make as much sense as I originally thought. Maybe down here it's okay, because we're closer to the ground level. But then again, we might actually not be using those pieces in here after all. Okay. Uh, well, I think I might hard pivot in that case, because um, there's no real need for us have these here and we may as well just replace them with something else uh, I don't know if it makes sense to put half timbered blocks on these edges or it's better to have something else. I think the fancy stone uh, may actually look quite nice for these corners. But I don't know what that's going to do if we add fancy stone up here in terms of the look from the other side. So let's just have a a quick gander here. Yeah, okay. It does actually look pretty good. Hang on, I, I'm still getting... some stone coming through here. I wonder where that's from. I should actually get rid of all of that. Hmm. I'll get rid of that, but then there's a little bit of stone coming in. I'm not entirely sure from where. Okay. Bit of stone there.
Okay. So at this point, I think uh, there's probably no way around things. We do need the stones or the um, sandstones. Uh, are they sandstones? Sorry, um, limestones rather. Um, so let's go out and let's see if we can find some of those stones. And just craft some more of those fancy blocks, because, uh, yeah, I do want some more of those. Uh, I mean, it's literally everywhere in this area, right? So, I'll just mine away. Alright, I'm hoping that we do have enough of the lines, uh, the limestone, so, yeah, let's go home, and let's see if we can craft a few more blocks. I don't think we are going to need that much, uh, for what's remaining to be built, hopefully, anyway. Okay, we need some wood planks here, we should have plenty of those. Okay, that should be enough. Uh, let me throw these limestones in storage. Maybe a few other bits and pieces, maybe even the wood planks there. And yeah, everything else, maybe I can maybe throw the charcoal back here. But I'll keep the dirt, just in case. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. There's like that nice sort of corner aesthetic. I wonder if I should be doing it for this side as well. It might actually make sense. Cool, and maybe this side? I just want to quickly check on how that looks on this side as well. Yeah, not bad. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Which sort of makes me think, I wonder if we could replace that. Oh, but actually, if I just got rid of a few of those pieces, it doesn't look too bad, does it? I mean, whatever we do, we're going to have some kind of detailing that does look a little excessive one way or the other, so... I think that looks fine. We'll do the same on this side. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me get that little candle in where it was around there and we do have one more corridor to to worry about we do have this little sort of gap space here which uh, I'm not really sure what I want to do with 
at the moment. I could just completely fill it. Or perhaps maybe I could uh, do something else with it. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of whether or not I could fit in like decorations or something like that there. But yeah, maybe a candle over there doesn't look too bad. Okay. Down we go. And yeah, I just don't know if I need to add anything here. It probably doesn't really make sense for us to do a corridor here because then there's not really much going on here anyway. Uh, so I feel like maybe just having the space be a little bit free. Um, if anything, some lighting would be nice in this corner. Just to, well, lighten the place up a little bit more. And yeah, the, the stone aesthetic makes sense down here. I don't think we need to change that. Cool. Alright, so with that all done, I think it's time for us to get the farmer moved in, to be honest. So I'm gonna have to think about furnishings and stuff though. So uh, obviously beds, uh, bedside tables, things like that, and they'll have to sort of think about where to arrange all of that. So let's head home and I'll have a chat with Cade and see what's available. And yeah, I, I don't think I'll use any of the older, like, beds that we have going on here because they don't really look that comfortable. So we'll try and go with, like, fancier stuff. Oh, I don't know about a stone bed because stone beds they don't exactly look comfortable to me. <laughs> um, a sun lounger. Mm. We'll, we'll give them like an ornate wooden bed. Um, and everyone will get an ornate wooden bed. I don't know if there are going to be any more beds actually. Um, there's probably something that will unlock in the future. Maybe in future updates and stuff. Uh, we just have enough for one. So let's get this. And... Um, I probably also want to get other things to decorate with, like bedside tables and stuff. So I can't remember if we do have a polished wooden bedside table uh, in storage out in Wistful Fields. Probably not. But anyway, let's grab that. Uh, I'm also thinking like a rug or something like that would be nice. Big straw mat. Yeah, maybe one of these things. Big furry straw mat. Which I think we might actually have the leather for if we really wanted that. Oh. Let me just grab some leather. I think that was just like four or something. Uh, let's craft that. Okay, anything else we want? Like extra illumination, for example. What's a little frustrating in my view is that there's no such thing as like a desk. They are just like normal wooden tables. They're not exactly desks though, are they? Um, I mean, I guess one way we could come up with a desk is if we just simply make one um, the same way we made our kitchen work bench in the previous episode.
Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll do at least one and then... Look, we've got like heaps of chairs and stuff in our house. So I could steal from there. So yes, this is going to be the farmer's room, but uh, I think the farmer herself, I'll keep her hanging around here in the kitchen. I think it makes sense because she's the one doing all of the cooking and all that sort of stuff. I think that positioning is good. Um, but obviously we need to bring all of her stuff here as well. Planters and the like. Um, right. Now let's decorate her room. One thing that I have seen while watching other people go through their builds is um, there are options to hang like different types of paintings and pictures. I haven't really seen that in our crafting repertoire. So I'm guessing maybe that will come a little bit later, but I would like to be able to put that sort of stuff in at some point. Um, let's start off with the bed. Okay, this thing is actually pretty big. What happens if we use snapping? So you can do snapping like that, although I would prefer if the bed was a little bit closer. To the wall. So let's maybe get rid of snapping and let's just... Okay, that's not exactly center to the room, but it is center with the candle. I think that doesn't look too bad. Uh, and I'm just sort of having a think here, but if we're keeping the bed here, perhaps it might not be a bad idea for us to reconsider where the candles go, because uh, yet again, I feel like this is a situation where you wouldn't really want, like, hot wax to be, like, dripping down onto your head. I mean... I don't really know of any situation where you would want hot wax dripping on your head. Unless you were into that sort of thing, you know? Okay, that looks decent. Let's get a table in. And this table, I would say, will act as some kind of a desk. Nice chair there. I will actually offset this a little bit. Make it look a little natural. Like so. Alright.
Yeah, I'm just putting it slightly um, offset again because I, I just think that that looks a little bit more inviting, you know, rather than something that's just way too rigid. Side tables. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I wonder if I should be making another one and maybe we can have two of them side by side. Or perhaps maybe we could use like a different style. Just gonna see what I have available to me. We have a crude side table. Maybe. Maybe it might look nice. Right. So there's probably a whole bunch of decorations that we could start thinking about making as well, just to populate the, the space. Uh, maybe more windows. So let's go back and see what we can make. But at the very least, we have one person who has moved into Wistful Fields already. I'm happy about that, finally. <laughs> Our first resident. Um, let's get the window first. I wonder if I should just, like, make a whole bunch more, because I, I know we do have a few windows that need to be filled. Okay, we're out of wood as well, so uh, I feel like there's a whole bunch of gathering that I need to do. And yeah, I uh, got a little bit complacent because instead of spending time gathering materials and stuff, I've been testing out builds and testing out how to uh, make bespoke pieces of furniture by clipping stuff together um, and I've forgotten about the fact that we may be running out of materials so yeah I'll, I'll do a bit more gathering and stuff like that between episodes guys but do have just a little bit more wood here let's see how far we can get with this uh, but the other thing is I also want to start thinking about uh, making... Oh, I was, I was hoping that we had more clay. Again, I might need to fetch some clay between episodes, but... Uh, let me actually go and speak to the farmer herself, because I believe she's the one who crafts, like, potted plants and stuff. So, let's have a look. And I believe we also need, um, flower soil. Farm soil. We also need bone meal for that. Got plenty of bone meal. Uh, speaking of bone meal, we should be, uh, moving the... the grinder over. Hmm. Okay. And, uh, let's have a look here. So we've got... Yeah, these pots. Okay, we need the empty flower pots first. I'm just trying to remember how they're made. Ah, yes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we do need to make some of these pots. 
I am probably interested in some of the smaller flower pots to decorate the room. So you need lumps of clay and some wood. So I can maybe drop some wood in here and we can get the empty flower pots going. So by next episode we should hopefully see some flower pots to use. Yeah, I've got so much of this stuff. I need to move it out somewhere. Question is where? Because we are running out of space here. You know, uh, I just had a thought though, because we've got plenty of storage that we made from the previous episode which are not being used. I'll temporary store, temporarily store some of this stuff in here. And we can move it back, obviously. Alright, I'm liking where the grinder is. I'm just gonna chuck some more stuff in there so we can begin the process of continuing to grind more stuff. Um, I suppose we should be going with fossilized bone dust here. We might be needing more of those. And perhaps maybe I can drop more of this stuff back in. But not all of it, because we do actually need some empty space in there. Alright. Looking good. Um, I think there's one last thing that I want to do in this episode, and that is just... Placing down some of these windows. But yeah, overall, pretty satisfied with how things have turned out. And the, the state that this home is in. I think, hopefully, in the next one, we'll get the, uh, the hunter in. And we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of decorating for the hunter as well. Uh, there are some windows here that I actually haven't replaced, so obviously there should be a window around here. Um, maybe it might not be a bad idea to just quickly get that in right now, so roughly around here I think. There we go. That seems a lot better. Yeah, for some reason I thought we needed more windows, but... Oh, yes, we do. For these sections here. Almost forgot about these. And that's that. I think we might actually have just enough of these windows for what we need. There's probably a little bit more detail that we could add to some of the window sections. I'll probably come back to that. Won't do it this episode. I think this is where we'll call it, guys. Happy that the uh, the farmer has finally moved in after all this time. 
and uh, hopefully she enjoys living here because this is where her home is going to be for a while. In fact, this is where our home is going to be for a while now as well because uh, I don't really plan on doing like a really, really big build uh, anytime soon after all of this. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. As usual, leave a like or a dislike or a comment or two down below. Stay true and I'll see you guys in the next one.